Professor Triggs, when I asked you earlier whether you'd discussed this with the Minister or, or the then Minister, you said no, you hadn't. But you were talking about the Attorney rather than the Immigration Minister, were you? Because I think you've just said now you did discuss it with the yes. previous Ministers. I've discussed it with, I think, um, Minister Tony Burke, the possibility, and I discussed what, it... Was he the well, Immigration Minister? He was briefly before the change of government. And uh, so I met with him and raised this as, um, uh, as, a, as an intention for 2014. Um, I thought when I asked you that before, you mm -hmm. said no, you hadn't discussed it with ministers. Well, she, uh, maybe clearly, there's some confusion. That's evidence you've given but, two or three um, times. I have discussed it. I have discussed the possibility of an inquiry with um, with with uh, Minister uh, Chris Byrne and with Minister uh, Tony Burke. But they were possibilities of inquiries for 20. 14, but I could not make a de determine, uh, an absolute determination because we were in the middle of an election and I didn't know whether or not I would need to do if, you can't if have the policy was. Can't have been in the middle of the Ch election chair, when I mean, both, no, no, both chair, Tony hold, Burke don't. and... and uh, well, it was an election and, period. And I think Chris Bowen were ministers because they, they weren't ministers this is in the election period. Well, this is that, significant. Your test, no, Mr. 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 Uh, hang on, uh, hang on Senator Sullivan. Sullivan. And, uh, and, uh, yes, I, I, I think Mr. Uh, uh, the Minister Burke was, uh, was the minister for a matter of weeks just leading up and through the, um, through the caretaker period. And I, I had a, a, at least one meeting with him. Uh, and I discussed, uh, but very informally, because you, I didn't know where this was going to go. But you wouldn't have been discussing it with the minister in the caretaker period. Well, I met with him uh, over that period briefly, and I think well, that's, it was... That's um, entirely inappropriate, as you mm, know. Mm, I mean, mm, the caretaker period is a caretaker correct. period mm. for for obvious reasons, and you don't discuss... Mm. Well, I think I'm going to have to take this on notice, because the date, the precise dates are not clear in my mind. Well, All well, I know is that I've ha I had... Uh, Fairly regular meetings with each of the ministers over the over that period over the period you from about. Did you tell me before that you you didn't? I didn't say I didn't meet with them. Remember, I said mm. I'm not going to ask you what the advice was. Yes. I'm asking you whether you actually spoke with them, and you said no and no and no. I think I, we're we're going around uh, in a misunderstanding way. I have not advised them in any formal sense that I will be holding an inquiry. But in my informal discussions with them, it's all, it, it was raised that as a possibility that we would Perhaps hold one for sort some advice from them on when oh, well, would be an appropriate time to have a, an inquiry. Chair, well, I, I think certainly got... didn't ask for their Chair, advice I... as to when I should hold it, because that's my decision. OK. Sorry, Senator Sullivan, I interrupted you, but you're just about out of your 15 minutes, well, and I'll, that, go, I'll come we, back to you we, if you well, want this, to. This is Groundhog Day for me now. I'm sorry, uh, mm. uh, Chair. Uh, well, if, you, if you're close to the finish, I'll allow it, otherwise you'll have to come back. Well, I'm not close to the finish, so, uh, but it might, it might pay well, us to just tidy up on this line of questioning while it's fresh in Professor Drake's mind. Well, if you can the do dates it don't briefly. escape her again. It's your call, Chair. I'm easy. Now, if you can do it, brief, if you can do it in the next couple of minutes, but other, otherwise, Professor Triggs, I, could... I questioned you quite uh, intently uh, earlier about recollections about whether you had spoken to any minister, and. Uh, a passage of that was in particular to ministers of the former government. And you indicated to me that you had no recollection of having had discussions with them in relation to this inquiry. Well, Hansard will, will, will prove that. Here's an opportunity. In the break, uh, were you able to refresh your memory from a diary, from advice from uh, an officer of the Commission uh, or any other place to allow you now to come back and we're now talking about uh, Chris Bowen and Tony Burke. I will go back to my office and we will go through all our records and get a full chronological uh, 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 record of those that I spoke to and raised this matter with. Well, please, um, you'll do that. But my question is, in the you. break, my, I, my questions are specific. I have nothing, I've got no further information in the break. So, so, but your memory has improved during the break because you now remember discussing it with, uh, with Chris Bowen and Tony Burke. I do remember discussing with every minister that I've dealt with either the possibility or the reality of an inquiry. Well, th well, I get that. But the ministers for whom you were responsible to after the election, uh, you waited six months 
to talk to your minister after the election, but prior to the election or on your own testimony in the middle of the election, the middle of the election, well, when I, is that? No, but you can clarify. You've had a conversation with Bowen uh, and Burke uh, concerning an inquiry that you're intending to hold after the election. You're, you're, you're having a bit of a, you know, bit of a chin wag about, listen, when this is over and if there's a change of government, and perhaps you didn't, I shouldn't do that, let me withdraw that, uh, when this is over, because I think it was quite clear what was going to happen, uh, I'm going to have an inquiry into this in February. Can I say that everything I've said in this, on this subject of um, children in detention has been, have been comments which apply to both the former government and the present government. And when the report is released in the public arena, you will see that everything I've said is completely bipartisan and non-political. It has nothing whatever to do with the politics. Professor, I don't think your report will be worth 20 cents if we don't clear up uh, the, the, uh, what these discussions were, when they occurred, what the content of them was, with a prior government who had an atrocious record in this field uh, at a time when, on your testimony here, You've been burdened by this for up to a year by the time you're talking to Bowen and Burke, but still in all, not sufficient either to uh, hold an inquiry then. You wait six months to advise the attorney to whom you are responsible. You, you talk to the opposition, but not the attorney or the government then, uh, and you hold an inquiry. I, I think your report will be under serious, serious question, the integrity of it, because this architecturally is very, very untidy in my view. I assume that's a statement of your view. It's not something I well, I'm, have well, any I'm leaving it open for you to, to respond. Well, as I say, uh, you, that is your view. It's a political perspective, and I am assuring you and the Australian public in this in, in this report that this is completely bipartisan, and the criticisms and concerns that I've had about the failure to abide by the principles of international law have been virtually identical for the former government as well as this government. Did you ever make them known publicly? I beg your pardon? Did you ever make them known publicly? Your uh, we have an, an, a, a full and complete record of these views. Uh, and indeed, we've been checking our, uh, our commission uh, advice on these matters for the last 20 years. It's been an absolutely consistent position. I have written endless op-eds for the public. I've spoken publicly. Uh, all our opinions, all our submissions, uh, all our advisory work has been entirely consistent on the position at international law. Um, and I, I really uh, would urge this um, Senate uh, committee to be, to take, or to give credit to the Commission over a very long time for an entirely consistent position across every government for 20 years on this question of detaining children. Um, may I because also... That's not our issue, Professor. The only thing that's well, been missing well, here well, today is, is consistency, uh, consistency of your testimony. Sorry, Senator Ray Sullivan, uh, at least let the Professor finish, then you can have a go. Did, had you finished? I, I think that the core, the, the thrust of the questions is to challenge the integrity of the well, Commission. I think that's pretty clear. I think that's pretty clear to everybody. I'm saying that there's, there's, there's no evidence of this. Uh, and that the Commission has been impeccable in its attempt to provide well, evidence uh, for a very long time across numerous governments. On, on this issue, we've been entirely consistent. And to argue uh, that in any sense we have been lacking in objectivity or that we are biased is a most unfair and unsubstantiated Well, I'm not even suggestion. prepared to make that plural assertion, but I am prepared to make it where you're concerned, Professor Triggs. This has been the untidiest passage of evidence that I've seen presented to any inquiry I've sat on, and admittedly I've only been here for, for nine or ten months. Chair, uh, I uh, want to reserve my further questioning until the Hansard has been produced. Uh, all the matters that uh, Professor Triggs is going to take on notice, because uh, that will then equip me uh, to come back uh, where there's no confusion on one's short-term memory and, uh, and resolve pretty well most of the things that I've got on my mind at the moment. Thank you very much. Senator Thank Mon you. Thanks, McDonald, Professor can I Triggs add one your, your point? Yes. Um, I could not have met with um, Senator Burke during the caretaker period, so that was my mistake, and I'd like to correct the record in relation to that. I could not have met him then.
No. It must have been a, within a couple of weeks of that. But well, I'll check the records and, and produce all of that evidence when I've had a chance to go back to my office and, and uh, look at the material. Well, well I think, uh, Professor Figgs, and we'll leave it here, but I think it would be useful if you went through your records, have a look at what you've said on, on the Hansard when it comes out in a couple of days' time, because you clearly told me that you hadn't spoken to any minister.